everybody, Tyler Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well here. We're staring down the weekend, and for the most part, for a lot of us, it's going to be quiet. There are some select areas that could be dealing with some winter weather from an upcoming clipper system. And then, of course, out west, we're anticipating the return of another round of storms due to the atmospheric river. So, as I'm getting into that, make sure you're smashing that like button. And if you're new, consider subscribing. And also, if you want to, feel free to leave a comment as well. But as things are progressing right now. We're uh, dealing with a marginal risk for severe weather. Not much is coming of it. Wasn't really expecting much of anything. That's why I didn't make anything of a major note there. Has been one hail report in Arkansas today, but the uh, hail has not been too, too significant at the moment. No ongoing uh, warnings at this time or watches, so that's good news to be had there. The flood threat is really going to start to pick up really out towards the west where they already have flood watches in effect. As far as severe weather is concerned through the rest of the weekend, we don't have too much to worry about, but there are winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings around the Ohio Valley and towards the Mid-Atlantic that we'll be keeping an eye on too. So if we go over to the models here, we'll see our troublemaker here, right over here. This is our storm system right now. And we'll see a little bit of cold air start to mix in on the back side of this. And with the uh, remnant moisture available here, it is going to cause a little bit of trouble as we get into the overnight hours here towards Ohio and then eventually towards the mid-Atlantic. This is going to be a quick mover though, so I wouldn't expect any major totals here. Some areas could see above two inches of snow, maybe four inches at max. We, uh, we might get a bullseye, or a pretty nice sized bullseye where we could get six inches maybe even. Beyond that point, we then shift our attention out towards the west, really, where we can see the uh, signal here of the atmospheric river. And if you watch this go into a loop here, if I go back a couple frames, you can see it begin to just crash onto that west coast here. And in those valleys is where we're going to expect that heaviest rainfall and the threat of flooding will uh, continue to be a prominent threat over the course of the weekend here. Another area that we'll be watching also is going to be towards Florida. I'm not really concerned about severe weather at this point, but there is going to be a lot of heavy rain here. There's a big sporting event over here at Daytona Beach, Florida. If you're a NASCAR fan, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and that's Daytona 500. Good chance that we may end up getting this race postponed. Hopefully there's a chance we could get that in. Daytona weather can always be kind of wacky. But this storm system, I think there's a pretty good chance that we might end up having it moved. So just bring your raincoats. Hopefully we can get that race in. If not, then probably might be Monday before that clears out. And really, I think it could more or less be towards Monday afternoon if that ends up being the case here. Also, I have this at 12, so I don't know why. But fact in the matter is, you get the picture. We'll be... Uh, watching that event really closely especially since i'm a nascar fan myself but if we go over to what the radar will look like it what the radar could look like exactly i should say because keep in mind this is still prone to change and even though we're 60 hours out going up to 60 hours out this is what we're dealing with right about at current time here we can start to see the uh, potential of that snow beginning to come into play here towards Ohio. And that's going to be a persistent thing into the overnight. But like I said, it's going to be a quick mover. As we get into the overnight hours, this is when we could see probably the heaviest snow. And it's mainly going to be towards northern Virginia, right around um, Maryland, maybe Delaware as well. And then eventually this is going to move off by the time we get into the early morning hours we could have some leftover snow maybe a little bit of lake effect going on here sneaking its way inland but after that point for the most part we're going to be calming down as we get into saturday night sunday evening could see a return of that lake effect snow over towards uh, buffalo and areas off towards west new york and then from that point we'll be calm we go back towards florida Rain is really going to start to pick up more so in the afternoon tomorrow. So this could affect the, uh, again, this could affect the Xfinity race there. And then the cup race tomorrow might be a problem. We'll see what happens with that. But from the looks of it, looks like that rain is looking to hang around. Definitely at the very least will delay the start time. But maybe we can get that race in at night. Also, uh, all of that is going on. We can already see the activity beginning to pick up over here towards the west. As we really, towards this evening, that's when it starts to come into play here. We mainly end up getting the rain in the valleys, and then eventually as we get 
into the afternoon of Saturday here, we start to see that snowfall coming in towards the mountains. Could be some big totals over here towards the Sierras in particular, especially as we go into the next few days in particular. Some uh, pretty impressive uh, winter storm signals over there as well. So if we go over here, take a look at our excessive rainfall unit here. Today's, as I said before, is going to be a pretty calm day as far as that's concerned. Flash flood guidance is rather minimal. But then, of course, as we go to the following day, we see that slight risk pop up over here towards northern Cali. Then eventually we see all of the uh, California coast here involved in this. And then eventually we start to shift our attention towards Southern Cali as we start the beginning of next week. <clears throat> and then also here's our winter storm signals. And you can see for the most part, we mainly are just focused in on the uh, mid-Atlantic here. By the time we go through Sunday, the worst of that's over. And then, of course, we're shifting our attention out towards the west. If we look at our uh, blend of models here in regards to our rainfall total potential, we're staying pretty light until we get over to the west coast towards the coast in particular there's a chance we could get up to maybe three to four inches and there probably is a good chance of some uh, locally uh, higher rainfall totals in some areas on the coast and into the valleys particularly if we go to blend of models here we can see the snowfall totals being greatest of course over towards the sierras could see an additional foot of snow in some of the uh, higher elevations possibly then of course towards the Rockies we could see plenty of activity as well potentially up to about four to six inches some locally higher totals possible up towards those higher elevation peaks as well and then of course towards the mid-Atlantic like I said widespread two to four inches of snow like I said there could be a little bullseye over here right between West Virginia here and maybe southern Pennsylvania or southwestern Pennsylvania where we could see maybe up to about six inches maybe even higher totals than that then, of course, the lake effect regions are another area of interest. So that's pretty much just highlighting what we have going on for the weekend here. For a lot of us, it won't be anything too crazy, but there are going to be some hot spots or cold spots, depending on where you end up landing. But that being said here, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I'll be back with another video soon enough. Until then, it's been Tyron Metalhead Weatherman. You guys take care and have an awesome weekend.